What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Friday, May 17th, 2019. And this is another stock market video. I know a lot of people like videos analyzing the market. Well, this is a perfect time to do it because there is a fresh new IPO, a fresh new game to play. Guys, whenever these IPOs come out in the propaganda, that is perfect for us. It's, it's literally like the federal government handing you a gold mine and the keys, but you got to figure out which keys open the mine, <clears throat> where to dig. And if you understand the market, you know, how to play stocks in general, it's perfect. You know, they either go up or down. In this case, down. You said it was going, it going down. It sold off all day. But look at the propaganda. Luck and Coffee surges in Wall Street debut, you know, talking it up, talking about how they're competing with Starbucks, but are doing well and everything. Also notice how this piece of Freemasonic propaganda updated at 420 with the two minute 40 second video, 420 to 40, 42, 24. And they have a female here too, also giving you the propaganda. <clears throat> female 42, 24. But look at this. Luckin Coffee equals 61, reversing the alphabetical order and reducing each letter to a single digit. If you're new to this channel, I'm going to show you how the federal government, who runs the stock market, this is this one world order, designed as Jew bankers that, you know, stereotypically everyone knows about. This is what I'm talking about. 61, Luckin Coffee. Today's the date with 61 numerology. So, isn't this amazing? We see how Tesla does things on. Dates with 44 numerology. <clears throat> I've told people Tesla loves to do things on those dates and that you can go short if it's at resistance on date with 44 numerology on 4 slash 4. And if you would have done that and you wouldn't have covered by now, you'd still be making money. It's been selling off since. So, you know, I'm, I'm teaching you patterns and techniques that can make you money. I'm telling you how to do them in advance as well. And Ella, this shit just debuted today. Let's look at the daily chart. See, first day of its existence, luck and coffee. This is the first day of thousands of days. I don't think this is going to go insolvent anytime soon. And they're going to participate in so much propaganda. Chinese woman burns herself on luck and coffee. You know, luck and coffee has lead, you know, in America, some shit. Or good things, you know what I'm saying? And it's so good that their IPO comes out today. They was 61 numerology. And their name equals 61. See what I'm saying? That means look up for the number 61 with luck and coffee. Mark your calendars. If you have an economic calendar or whatever, dates with 61 numerology, mark down luck and coffee. So you can at least maybe not trade those days to manage your risk. You can watch out for momentum if you do intraday trading. But if you're trading on the daily chart, you know, why not just not trade or manage your risk more appropriately on dates with 61 numerology? You see how they're participating in propaganda by the numbers. So you can play the short side, the long side, whatever your analysis, your system tells you to do. But this is one extra piece. That is why I love teaching this. People have always been looking for, you know, the secret to the stock market, the numbers behind it and all, and see how you can get ahead through this through this and i have plenty of videos on this channel showing you in advance again we're on a daily chart my favorite time frame and you see how tesla let's go back to april 4th this year see so the day before <clears throat> they had some propaganda and it gapped down and look it's been selling off ever since and you can see how it's been at a resistance. See, it's at resistance. And I, in, the, in a much earlier video that's still on this channel, I called out, look out for this. I said, whenever Tesla's at resistance and we're coming at a date connected to 44, then you, you can want, you want to look for shorting opportunities. And if you're at support, you want to look for buying opportunities. And it happened. And it's again, again, it's been selling off ever since. And you see how the propaganda is saying it surged 
You know, Death 25 could be some more foreshadowing. I mean, guys, who do you think was shorting, doing a lot of the shorting? The Zionist Jews, the Freemasons who run these investment banks. The big banks, they manipulate the Forex markets, the stock markets, the bonds. I mean, they're government bonds, so obviously they're up. They're manipulating the bond markets as well. You know, old Freemason 96. But sometimes I don't like to look too much at the high. I mean, this, first off, it, you, if you want to see if this is by the numbers, you want to see how they're reporting it in the media to confirm. Because in the media, they'll adjust it a bit to make it fit their agenda. But you see how it opened up at 11.08 at $25. And it got up to 25.96. So the resistance at $26. People didn't want to buy this above $26. And that's really interesting. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm telling you, this is manipulated as fuck. China equals 26. See this? China equals 26. Resistance of $26. So, hit highs of $25.96 and been selling off ever since. People didn't want China, the Chinese company, to go above $26. Hmm. Who, who knows this type of knowledge? Who has the money and the knowledge of this? To take price short. The Zionist Jews. The false Jew bankers. This is their market. LK is their company. They have a lot of money. They can control price. You're seeing it here. They do it in Forex all the time. They see everyone going short the euro dollar. They'll go long. A lot of the dollar pairs, all the dollar pairs have been heavily manipulated by the federal government, which are the big banks, the Zionist Jews. They employ people whose job is to wake up every single day, see where all the quote unquote goy, because that's what the big banks know you guys as, and me as well. But hey, they do it to the Jews too. Anyone who's dumb enough to to be on the popular side, trading currencies, they just get faded by the federal government, by the big bank, Zionist Jew, Wall Street, Forex, whatever you want to call it. It's all owned, manipulated by this one world order. You know, it surges 43%. Masonic 43. So I'm going to close this video. <clears throat> Luckin equals 25. I mean, look at this. Luckin equals 25. Open at $25, couldn't pass 26, China 26. You see? So do you understand? You look up for these date numerologies too. Today's the date with 25 numerology. And new date numerologies, they come in pairs a lot. So you'll see 61 with 25 again. Mark your calendar. The more numbers you have in the pattern, the more it solidifies that, and the more the higher your odds are of seeing luck and coffee in the propaganda. I'm gonna do this as well. And fresh, guys, again, fresh new IPO, fresh new opportunity to make cash, to just have fun playing the market. I mean, preferably, I would like some days to roll by, let some stuff form on the daily charts so, you know, my system and stuff can read it, patterns can make sense and everything. But even then, just intraday plays. This thing can, can, can easily keep getting shorted tomorrow. But again, this is the Zionist Jew-run coffee company. I don't think it's going to become a penny stock anytime soon, which is good. That means that you can start being long biased pretty soon. And you have stuff like these indicators that let you know, okay, is there a uptrend forming? Is it making higher highs, higher lows? Is the volume increasing, and you just ride along. So there might be might be something fun to do on Monday. Oh, look up for Tesla on Monday. Definitely Tesla. Government fifty two, prophecy fifty two. It's twenty slash five. Again, we can have more luck in action that day. But space forty four, you know, chaos nineteen forty six. There's gonna be a shooting. Shooting thirty seven forty four. There might not be, it's always kind of up. I, I say it's hit or miss, but then they usually just have one. I mean, there's going to be some Florida shooting or something stupid. The sacrifice, shooting, chaos. But I'm going to close this video without making it too long.
six trade war stocks with a lot of risk. I mean, this is just propaganda. Luck and coffee is, oh, yes. You see what I'm saying? Luck and coffee is trade war. Do you see what I'm saying? What are the odds at a time of, of all this trade war propaganda and we now get luck and coffee coming out with this 25 to 26 ritual? Also like the 1881, ritual 8181, sun 18. I do like these numbers, you know, Freemason 20, Freemason 96. But look, Chinese goes from 10 to 25%, luck in 25, Philema 125, 35, China 35. 28, like the Lima, it means that pattern. Government 133, or excuse me, it is, but conspiracy 123, luck and coffee 123, the initials. L is the third letter, 1 plus 2 is 3, 33. So I'll link uh, someone in the description. He, I think, because people have been asking me, you know, how to learn to trade, how to get started. I think the best way is to just follow this dude. He teaches more. His name is No Nonsense Forex. He, although he teaches Forex, you can apply just like his overall mindset and how he does things to any market. It's all about really psychology, your money management, building a system that's tested and works. And then again, this is just one extra piece. That's all I'm showing this as. This is an extra piece to help you. If you want to not trade on these days, if you want to look for action these days, if you want to do whatever, this is to help you in your financial journey, showing you how they're participating in propaganda by specific numbers on specific days. So we'll close it there. You know, like, yeah, look, these are all trade war. Look at this. I love this. These are all the stocks that we talk about. Tesla. <laughs> I mean, you see how much they're selling off now. It's it hit lows of two hundred eight dollars. You know, Mason twenty eight today, just selling off. It's funny. I, I I've been. What did I say ages ago? I said, guys, Tesla's gonna sell down. It's gonna eventually get close to sub two hundred. I said this months ago, while it wasn't showing signs of much of a downtrend. I said it like hell, like over here. I've been saying it that don't trust this shit. Elon Musk is a theatrical actor. Don't invest in holding these. At most, you know, a few days swing trade, you know, swing trade for these. See these swings that last like no more than a week, a few days. That's what I'm saying. That's how you play Tesla. You either trade it during the day, intraday, or you trade in the daily chart, which is, I mean, look at how much profit you can make on the daily chart. Less emotion, less bullshit. Your system kind of tells you what to do when you build it. But don't try to play the reversals on this. And yeah, never take my advice, do what you want. But you know what I'm saying? It's downtrending. It just keeps selling off. So how do you know when to buy and hold for it to go up again? You just don't really. Again, Monday's four slash Monday's day with 44 numerology. So if I swear to God, this thing reverses and starts to uptrend Monday. That is it. I mean, I don't think it, I don't even think it will. I think it might, who knows, it could sell off below 200. It might be even worse. But there's going to be definitely some big Tesla space shit on Monday for sure. So I'm, I'm going to close this video and make another one because I don't want my computer to, to freeze. I said that last time and right when I saved the video and finished it, then shit happened. So I'd rather stop now. Starbucks, they participate in propping in about numbers. I don't see iRobot participating propping in my numbers, but they could. But you see what I'm saying? You you can still trade iRobot as much as you want if you like, you know, if your system tells you to do so. Boeing, we sell them; they've been selling off. But look how well they, but look how well they sell off. This is what I'm saying. This is stuff you want to understand. Boeing is, guys, they're a military contractor. Guys, this is a military-run Zionist Jew Freemasonic empire. Planes everywhere. They pretty much monopolize the airspace. And, again, it's everything war, military. That's what this agenda is all about. Control. So that being said, Boeing's not going to sell off to, like, 150. It can. It eventually could. You know, I'm not saying it never will. 
But in this short, these short-term moves based on the propaganda, again, these are stocks. These aren't currencies where these Zionist Jew bankers can take them as high or low as they want to do. These have intrinsic value, and the intrinsic value is what I'm telling you. I mean, they military contractors. They run the, you know, the bullshit going on. So it's only going to sell off so much. So it's easy to, or easier to spot these sort of recoveries and be patient for things like this. You know, like you wouldn't buy maybe this green day. You want to kind of wait. And again, you'd probably, you wouldn't build a system of trusted, tested indicators that tell you when to get in, when to get out, when to trade and all that. And the guy I'll link, he'll teach you how to do all that and more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I'll just do a part two some some other time. So I want to close this. We'll look at GM, Apple, Starbucks. But I want to close this now before any shit happens. But you see it. Lucky, luck and Coffee participating in the propaganda. Keep this in mind too. Coffee has these numbers. But notice how today's date numerology doesn't. So you might not have to put too much weight on that and more so luck in and luck and coffee. I mean, the IPO day is one of the perf most perfect days to really get down the pattern. And when they put up more propaganda in those days, you'll see. All right, peace out.